Privia here, third year medical student, currently not in medical school. Or I should say not in clinical rotations right now. So as of, I guess three days ago now, we were pulled from all of our clinical rotations in the hospital. This is not unique to UBC. A lot of medical schools across Canada uh, and in the United States have also done the same thing. And this is all because of you know what. So what to do now? Well, uh, I'm at home. Uh, we still have the potential of uh, writing exams and things like that. So a med school will eventually continue. So I've been trying to do a little bit of studying here and there, but uh, we're obviously not in the hospital right now. So most of my day is being spent at home, social isolating, social distancing, I should say, because I don't need to isolate right now. Uh, many of you have seen the graphics out there, you know the evidence and, and there are benefits, immense benefits to distancing yourself from others right now. So because I don't need to be out, I'm trying not to go out. And then I'm just trying to fill my day. Uh, we had a meeting earlier on this morning, which you saw, and basically discussing what is happening from a curriculum standpoint, from a school standpoint. I'm not really sure how to spend my days entirely. Uh, we are trying to get some students together to, um, to give back to the community in ways that we're able to right now. And we're not sure what that looks like. Nothing is happening right now, but, but that may be happening in the future. Uh, for now, I think the most important thing is for everyone to keep distance from others if they can, which is what I'm doing. Initially, when, when all of this happened, it's, it's been progressing so quickly over the, the past, I would say, three days. But initially, I was thinking, well, two weeks off, this will be a nice uh, semi-vacation. But it really isn't that. It, it's actually a really eerie feeling. I went to the grocery store the other day and and there was shelves that were empty which i'm not used to seeing the gyms are closed so i can't go and work out like i would on a vacation so it's not quite the luxury of of having time off on a vacation uh, this is this is more than that it's bigger than that and it just shows how vulnerable we are as a society and and as a global society i should say stock markets are are going down uh, interest rates have been slashed and no one really knows what's going to happen at this moment. For now, I'm going to try to keep busy at home. I do some things, fill my day with, I don't even know what right now, but for sure we have two weeks off. So I, I don't wanna just stay at home and do nothing for two weeks because that's going to drive me crazy as it will probably drive all of you crazy. I'm not the only one that's dealing with this. A lot of people here are as they should be, but also places like Europe and other countries that have been dealing with this for longer than we have here in Canada, they've been isolating themselves for a lot longer. I know, woe is me. I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, that's it. I'll see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but for now, I am uh, just hanging out at home. Long hair across the room, baby she got that blue. I know you see me over here. I'm gonna take a quick break. I've um, well, this is how much I've been I've been shoveling outside right now. If I'm spending the next few weeks at home, then let's try to make the most of the deck. Get a chair out there and get some sunshine when I can. So one update is that I got a new haircut. I thought I would go for a, you know, a 1990s bowl cut. The haircut we probably all had when we were kids. I was getting quite tired of my old hair, so I thought, let's uh, let's change it up. Luckily, I did this a couple weeks ago when I was in Vancouver. Since everything is closed, I don't know how I'm going to get this trimmed up and. I don't really know what's going to happen to my to my haircut, but uh, I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm gonna make some lunch and then uh, probably just watch some TV, mess around for a bit, and then I'll try editing a video that I will be posting in the next few days. So that's it for now. Uh, let's make some lunch.
Another update that I have right now is that I'm, as of about five weeks ago now, I have been on keto. I found that since starting clerkship, I've talked about it before on this channel, but the first few months of clerkship was really a grind for me. I was doing all of my overnight calls, I was on really busy rotations, and it just wasn't the most conducive to getting to the gym every day, getting to the gym at any point, really. I think I went a few months without going. Uh, I was eating poorly. There's only a Tim Hortons in the hospital, so I had lots and lots of bagels. And it just didn't really, it, it just wasn't really good for my health. And after finishing those tough rotations, I did, as you know, start working out again, start going to the gym, eating better. But the thing when I work out is that I don't work out at the gym to lose weight. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with my size right now, but a lot of going to the gym for me is about gaining strength and becoming fitter. So my workouts, they're not really set around losing weight, which is what I wanted to do. And, and it wasn't a huge amount. It was just the amount that I put on, which was about 10 or 15 pounds. But I needed something to just kickstart my body, kickstart my, my life in a way. And um, I needed some sort of change. So I thought keto would be a good way to do that. And after doing it for about a month, I'm completely happy with it. I don't really need to be doing it anymore, but I'm just kind of walking through the motions because my partner's still doing it. So we eat the same food at home and because he's doing it, then I'm just continuing with it. But uh, I do have cheat days here and there. Uh, we're trying, I'm not a dieter. This is the first time I've ever changed my diet um, or been on a traditional diet. Eating is a portion of my life and the way I live my life is in moderation. And I know it's super ironic that I'm saying that, but I'm on keto, I know, but I just needed something to, to sort of kickstart my life. And, and I think I have done that now. I'm happy where I am. And it's about just going to the gym and maintaining, building strength like I regularly do now except for right now because all the gyms are closed. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, we do have a pull-up bar upstairs and uh, you know, an ab roller, treadmill, things like that. Um, it's getting a lot warmer outside now, so I'll probably be running outside. But that's sort of another update for all of you as to why we're eating the types of food that we're eating, since you'll probably be seeing that a lot more right now. So I'm making a burger but my burger is gonna have no bun, uh, just, the, just the meat and the cheese. And on that note, these are, they're called Beyond Meat Burgers and they've sort of been coming out recently. I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but I actually like the taste of these more than, than a regular beef patty. So I've been eating it more often than beef and it has more protein than the beef patty as well. I think a beef patty has about 18 grams of protein and this one has 20, so I thought I'll just go for that instead. One other thing um, that is kind of a part of all of this, just in terms of what I'm eating, what I'm consuming, is alcohol. So I, I'll be honest here, I really enjoy beer, but that's because I really enjoy craft beer. And when I was living in Vancouver a few years ago, I was living in the middle of essentially the brewery district there and there was just a ton of uh, microbreweries around me and I really got into uh, the nitty gritties of the different types of beers and, and the taste and things like that. And I just really enjoy having a beer uh, every now and then, but super heavy in carbs. So an alternative that we've been doing is making some juice. Um, I got a juicer a few weeks ago, which you already know because you would have seen that in the last video. It's a super good alternative to alcohol I'm finding. I guess what I enjoy more so is relaxing, having a drink of something that's different from, you know, milk or water and juice is giving me that option. So if it's taking that away, I mean, I have beer and even those zero carb drinks, I have those in my fridge right now, but juice is cutting it for me. So it's healthier, 
no carbs, and I'm getting the nutrition of all the juice, so that's a plus. Guess who's officially working from home starting right now? What happens when your friends live on a farm? We get fresh farm eggs. We have eggs in case the world is ending and there's no more food, which will not happen, but we have eggs. watching Mr. Robot. Um, we just started it a few, probably a couple months ago now, but <laughs> yeah, last year. Um, no, we started it in January and we're already on season three. It's, it's a pretty good show, uh, especially timing wise because I... Hey Google, turn down the volume. Uh, especially because when we just started watching it, I had I was either on my psych rotation or just finished psych and, and it just made the show that much more interesting. Oh, we're currently on season three and if you're looking for something to watch right now, Mr. Robot is a good one to watch. That's it for tonight. Stay tuned for another episode of Working From Home. I don't know, whatever this is called now. Stay tuned for another episode. I will see you in the next one. Love you in my bed